I will well, say, of course not. What do you think? That's why you're here. <laughs> so I will say that over the years, I've had pain in either hip, mm -hmm. occasionally, like getting in and out of the car, but you know, maybe for a few hours or when I was up north, when it was really cold, my right hip would hurt, but then it'd go away, Doc. This is the first time it's, uh, it's come and stayed for eight weeks. Happened just before I went to Italy. Now on the left side, uh, you have a reaction of the bone, which is pressure. Pounding every time you take a step, every time you run, every time you climb steps, you're getting pressure right here. You don't see it on this side, see? This is just gray. Over here, you see all this white. But I'm looking from my front, so this is my right, or this is my this right? This is your left. Okay, so I'm looking from the back. Then. Right. Okay. But what about the bulge in four and five up here that they talk about? You can't use an MRI for diagnosis. You get this. MRIs are not diagnostic. Look, who orders it? A guy who doesn't know anything about a back. Who reads it? Another guy knows nothing about the back. He's reading an x-ray. He's reading this. Does he know where your pain is? No, this x-ray doesn't tell you that. MRIs don't tell you where your pain is. But this scenario tells you everything. Okay, so from the that... The pain you're having is right over here. Okay. And uh, your knee is always bent. Yes, and if I straighten it like you had me do, it uh, hurts. It hurts. And those there pains are go down all the way down. And every foot. time you walk and you're not aware, that knee is going to give out because your weight is in front of it. That's the whole thing right there. Now you want to get treated? Damn right. <laughs> Enough of this bullshit. Been, we refuse to treat you. You know, Doc, I went to, the, I went to Boca Raton Ortho. Uh, this is typical musculoskeletal problem where you have to know uh, the anatomy, the physiology, and the uh, nerves. You have to know the whole thing, what causes what pain. And then you have to think in weight bearing. It's a physics problem. His primary problem is a physics problem. It's how do you bear weight? He can't bear weight. Because the right knee is always bent. Every time he walks, it gives out. And uh, it's so clear once you see, once you see this. Keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> that smile is. Yes, it is better already. That's better than 2,700 milligrams of gabapentin every day. <laughs> Oh my God! I mean, it's, it's still sore in my hip, but I don't know what the. But I can't believe it, Doc. It already feels better. And you're all taller than you were, too. <laughs> yeah, because you. Still but now, if I tighten this, it, you know, I still got pain in here. If I do this, well, I'm going to give you a shot for your hip. Oh, okay. I can't believe this. This is better. But I've been six. A, you don't have a backache. You spent six weeks. What? Six six weeks with an orthopedic and a neurologist. You just six, six minutes just fix this. <laughs> Are you counting minutes on me? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm slow. I was supposed to do it at three. <laughs> We're just that, that does make a difference. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, where am I going? Back to the room? Yeah, I'm going back to the same room. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, it didn't solve everything, but it got rid of 70% of the pain in one little thing. Just put it in there. Give it a rest. Oh my God. I've been screwing with this for weeks, eight weeks. Oh my God. The hip flexor was not a big problem until we straightened out the left leg. Already better? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to have those shooting pains that make me feel like I'm going to collapse. So I can just like get rid of this thing? <laughs> Sign me up, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting a few minutes until the painkiller takes effect. So then your performance is going to improve. Now, the uh, painkiller uh, will come out in about an hour. Your body will destroy it. Then your pain will come back. Not as bad, but you'll say, what's happening to me? Well, you know, that the painkiller left, and uh, the steroid then will take effect. In another hour, you'll be pain-free. Now, you have to come back after you're pretty good, pain-free, because we had to check that film again, because I don't know about the height I gave you. I gave you a half. So what good. about this thing? Just put it in my shoe, and we'll wait, and later we'll do something permanent? Every, every shoe you, no, that's permanent. That's permanent. Oh, it never wears that? <laughs> that's it, huh? That's it. 
that's by design, and those are made in Ohio. Oh, really? Well, that's good. And they're mailed down here. They're all made by hand. Brilliant leather. They never wear out. Well, that's great, Doc. And of course, I graduated from Ohio, so that makes me feel good. Close to something. <laughs> this is a real science, and most of the doctors don't understand this. So why don't they just send me to you right away? Why am I? Because why did I go through five they, weeks of they don't want to bullshit. lose? Uh, they don't want to lose the uh, consultation. But I've had between them, between the orthopedic and the neurologist, I've had eight, ten meetings. I've had an MRI. I've had a series of needle tests, nerve tests down my leg, you know, where they put electric and stuff. You know, all kinds of stuff. And eight weeks later, I'm still that same thing. Thank goodness for Shelly Pittleman, <laughs> my Masonic brother. Thanks, <laughs> Shelly. He's the one who said we had to come here. All right, so take a walk again, and he'll film you. We're doing all this to make sure that people know. Okay, but you know, I'll, I'll pay for it. I mean, oh, yeah. I have Satan now, which should pay for it, but I'm happy to pay. Look at this. Without the cane. That's great. This is 85% approved. 85% <laughs> better in 20 minutes. That's great. In other words, get the pain, then bring it in, and then we'll fix it. But uh, you can't do it if you're going to sit around or go to bed rest or anything. Like no, that. I'm not going to do it. Okay, so it's Tuesday at noon. I'll come back Thursday afternoon. Yeah. So remember, we have to we have to find out uh, the height that we want to get. So keep this thing in any, any shoe. Any and, shoe. And so walk as me. much as I can. Hey, there's your friend. And you want me to walk as much as yes. I can? Yes. Okay. Don't worry. This only lasts ten minutes. Walking with a cane, walk out without it. See, that, that's, that's, what, that's what Dr. Pinoza does. I hope everything goes well for you. Boy, I tell you, he's, he's a miracle worker.